In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of parliamentary lawmaking. A useful way of remembering the stages of parliamentary lawmaking is green wobbly fat snails can't reach the handrails. New Acts of Parliament are needed for a variety of reasons, maybe due to changes in society or technology for example. They can also be needed to bring lots of different acts together under one act to make the law easier to understand. This is called consolidation. An example of this would be the Equality Act 2010. They can also be needed to codify the law. Codification is putting existing case law in one particular area into an Act of Parliament. The Theft Act 1968 is an example of this. A proposal for a new law is known as a bill. A bill can be private, which means that it is aimed at a limited class of individuals, or public, aimed at the country as a whole. Or it could even be a hybrid bill, which has features of both. A new Act of Parliament often begins life as a green paper. Green paper is also known as a consultation document. The green paper will then become a white paper which is a firm proposal for a new law. A bill begins its life in the House of Commons with the first reading. The short title of the bill is read out, and there is an order made for the bill to be printed. Second reading. The second reading is the main debate on the details of the bill. At the committee stage, the House of Commons committee will engage in a clause-by-clause -clause examination of the bill, and further amendments may be made. Where this committee consists of MPs, the number from each party should be proportionate to the amount of seats that party holds in the House of Commons. At the report stage, the committee reports the amendments and content of the debates to have been had over the bill back to the House. At this stage, there will also be a further vote on the bill. At the third reading, the bill will be represented to the House, and following a debate, the House will decide whether the bill should move to the next stage, or whether it should be thrown out altogether. For the next stage, the bill is sent to the other House, where all the stages we've just discussed are repeated. It is possible at this stage that the bill may be amended and sent back to the other house for further consideration. It is important to note that at this stage the House of Lords have the power to block bills from coming into law, but Parliament can respond by forcing the bill through under the Parliament Acts 1911 and 1949. Before it becomes a law, the bill has to receive royal assent. At this final stage the monarch signs the bill off and it becomes a law, usually at midnight on the date of royal assent.